Well, good morning, one and all, and welcome to Dan's Haunted Cottage, and welcome to not a special Christmas edition, because that's going out Christmas Eve in the form of a ghost story for Christmas. Um, this is the final day of the children's school. Um, it's a Christmas jumper day, so it must be it must be a Christmas final day, and um, two quid they've charged us for taking Willow in in a school jumper. Two quid. Do you know what? This school is fleecing us left, right and centre. It's like a protection racket. I'm sure it's run by some, I don't know, band of robbers and gangsters. I'm sure it is, to be honest with you. Well, it is, isn't it? It's run by the government. Um, oh, topical, topical. Getting near the edge there, Dan. Pull yourself back. You don't want to get a ban. Anyway, um, I hope you're all okay. It's a miserable day. It's typical Christmas weather. It's absolutely pouring down. Mind you, it is winter, to be fair. So it's freezing, freezing cold as well. And, um, <clears throat> well, today, I've got to get the final bits of shopping. So I'm taking Hazel over to um, St Albans because she wants a pair of, I don't know, these, I have no idea, running shoes. When I used to run, I'd stick anything on my feet, to be honest. Not stilettos, of course, but I'd buy running shoes for a tenner or whatever, 15 quid. All right. Looking back, and in hindsight, it probably wasn't a good thing to do because my feet are absolutely crippled now. <laughs> but yeah, she wants these new fangled running shoe things, and so we're going to Waltham. Uh, Waltham Abbey, sorry, we're going to um, St Albans to uh, in search of a pair for her. And she, apparently, she goes into this shop where they make you run on a mill thing, and then they measure the gait of you. It sounds like a complete load of nonsense to me, just to up the price of the shoes, but. Who am I, you know, apart from a tight git who doesn't want to part with a penny? So, yeah, so I did, we've got to get those today. <clears throat> and um, that's the, I think that's the final bit, really. I'm not sure. I'm hoping you guys are all prepared for it now. We really are on the last leg and the final countdown now, aren't we? So, yeah, so Fox is coming with us, so that's going to be fun. I'm trying to keep him under control in a sports shop. But we'll just see how that goes anyway. But um, So, yeah, so Willow's gone in. She's quite happy in her Christmas jumper. It's a penguin one. Not that you really want to know that. But, yeah, she's got a penguin jumper on. And um, the kids all look knackered. They all look tired. It's amazing, isn't it? It's, every time they get to near the end of a term, they look absolutely shattered. And all of them, all of them today look absolutely knackered going into school. Um, I don't know. Was I? I just say, was it like that when I went to school? I very, very, very rarely turned up to school. So um, what with the bunking off and everything, and the pretend sore throats. But yeah, no, I don't know. Is I don't know. Is it changed? It may very well have changed. I'm not too sure. But uh, we'll see. Anyway, we'll see how things pan out today. We're picking up at one o'clock. I've noticed a lot of children seem to have broken up for the holiday season yesterday and the day before. But I'm not sure whether they're inset days or different councils have different allocated times for the kids getting um, getting away home for Christmas. I'm not sure. But, um, yeah, we'll just see how it goes. So, as I say, I've got a few things out there for Christmas lined up. Um, I've got a couple of videos I've done. One's already done. And... Uh, there is another paranormal video that I did with a very good friend of mine, uh, Ricky, from Paranation Exploration. And uh, we're going to be doing lots more next year. We've got a few things in the pipeline. I think we've even tossed around the idea of the three of us, that's myself, Ricky and Dawn, going off to um, Edinburgh to do an investigation there in... Well, you know what? There are lots of places that are quite infamous for hauntings um, but a lot of them have been televised but there's one place there which is the Greyfriars Cemetery which is an amazing cemetery it's, it's you know it's phenomenal there's lots and lots of um, great big crypts in there and um, obelisks and, and, and almost like mon monoliths in there um, but yeah there's lots and lots of big tombs in there and um, it, it, it's 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 quite unusual. I think the Scots call them the Kirkyard, don't they? 
So we're looking at going there next year and um, spending a few days up there. And I really want to do the um, the grave fries because as I, say, I don't think it's ever been video. It might be videoed, but um, I know there's a particular tomb there that has got a lot of poltergeist activity attached to it. And apparently a lot of it is violent and a lot of it... Um, results in not a good time for the investigators and in some cases a very bad time so um i wouldn't mind going there and seeing what that's about not sure i'd want to go into it but you know when you're there the case may be a different thing but even apparently even if you when you enter it you get this foreboding and horrible feeling um but you know a lot of that could be down to psychology people have read it and people know about it and then when they go in there they experience a similar thing although yeah I think there's been a few people that have gone in there breathing not come out breathing as it were <clears throat> I think there's a one or two if I remember rightly I might be wrong but I'm sure there are but anyway there's that one um, and that's why I'm a little bit reluctant to go into it to be honest but you know what? When you do this for a for a hobby or a passion, you, you you generally tend to push the boundaries and see how far you can go. Don't want to go that far, but uh, I'm, as nobody does, I guess. But we'll see. So yeah. So me and Ricky, uh, go over and give him a sub, if you would, please. Go over and give him a sub and have a look at him. He's got loads and loads of paranormal videos. In actual fact, he's a very very genuine guy. And he's got some activity that he's caught. There's one video that he's got. And it was Dawn, his partner, who, who sussed it. And as he, he, he does some of them on his own as well. And as he walks under or near this bridge, as he walks under it at night, you can see a, a, a shadow person standing slender, really slim, standing right above, looking down at him. And um, you've got to go and see it. It's brilliant. Absolutely cracking video. A really good catch. But obviously he couldn't see the guy with the naked eye. And I'm sure that you would have, you know, because Ricky's pretty astute. You know, he's, his eyes are everywhere. So like a proper investigator, he's checking out 50 things at, at once. So, yeah, go over, have a look at his videos. Great videos. I really enjoy his stuff. Um, and he's old school. And he's, he's honest. And he's him, he is himself. And... Um, yeah, he's great fun as well. So go over there and give him a give him a like if you be so kind, please. Give him a few subs if you be so kind as well, please. Um, and go and look at his stuff. His stuff is good. His stuff is really good. I'm reluctant. I won't really promote a lot of paranormal um, channels, to be honest with you, because it's not that I think that they're lying, but I think that if they're not lying, then they're certainly misinterpreting what they're seeing. So, yeah, but get over there and have a look anyway. Um, so that is Paranation Exploration, and that's Ricky, um, who runs that channel. Um, and as I say, we're doing lots more together next year. In actual fact, next year should open up a whole new avenue um, of investigations, and uh, it's going to be a lot, it should be a lot... I've sat down with the with my team and uh, we've chatted about things and we seem to have a lot more lined up for next year. And uh, so there'll be lots and lots more paranormal vlogs. Um, and obviously the stuff that I do with the family and the kids and stuff. And uh, yeah, and, uh, and winding Hazel up because uh, I know it really gets on her nerves when I wind her up. She really bites. And um, I think her sense of humor kind of went out the windows when the kids came in because it seems to be getting shorter and shorter. Either that or I'm becoming more of a pain in the backside and annoying. Probably the latter, really. Um, or maybe a mixture of both, who knows. But uh, we'll see how that pans out. So I'm going to obviously upload this, guys, and then I've got part two of the Kidsmas Christmas Day Out, which we did um, on Wednesday. So there'll be, that'll be loaded up, and then... Over the weekend, I've got, hopefully I'll have the paranormal investigation that I did with Ricky lined up, which is at the farmhouse, which we think is around about 200 years old. Um, and I haven't looked at it yet, so there may be activity in there. R Ricky's experienced loads of activity in there. Uh, he was down in the cellar on his own one night, and um, 
you know, he's heard people walking across. Uh, shadow masses move across in the cellar near him. Um, yeah, so, yeah. As I say, can't speak highly enough of Ricky. Lovely, lovely fella and uh, a great channel. And Dolly's partner, lovely, lovely woman. So, yeah, just get over there and give him, give him a like. Give him a few subs if you'd be so kind, please. And just enjoy his channel, because I know I do. And what I'll do is, as I say, I'll um, load some more videos up over the coming days. And the, after this one, which will be today, I'll probably load the... Well, I will be loading the second instalment of the Kids Must Christmas Day Out. So enjoy your weekend, guys. If you haven't done all your shopping, I wish you the best with it. The best of British, as we say. And um, I will... I'll, I'll see you in the vlogs. Take it easy, guys. Bye.